What is up, baseball fans? Chris Jardine here, a.k.a. Snaggle J, Associate Community Manager for Out of the Park Baseball, back with another installment of our Milwaukee Brewers franchise. Now, if you guys will remember last week, we jumped, well, we finished out the 2019 season. Unfortunately, we had a disappointing September, uh, which caused us to fall out of the playoff hunt in the National League Central. Uh, Bryce Harper's season-ending injury playing a massive, massive part in that. If you missed last week's stream or any of the other streams in this series, you can head to the videos section here on Twitch or head to youtube.com slash OTP developments. We have all of our archives on there in one handy dandy convenient playlist for you to watch. So tonight, as we jump into the off season, um, we've identified we have really one giant weakness that we would like to fill and that is what are we going to do about our starting pitching now we talked about it last time but you know we have a good core of average guys you know Corbin Davies Fulmer Perdomo Teheran Ortiz you know average run-of-the-mill guys but we need that big Big guy in the middle or at the top of our rotation to get the job done. And we have identified the possibility of that guy being Chris Sale. Um, Chris Sale is... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Offseason center, free agents. We have identified Chris Sale as the guy um, that we think is going to be you know, that top of the rotation sort of guy that we can use. Uh, unfortunately, right now, we don't have the money to afford him. So what we have, uh, what we kind of were, were doing at the end of the last stream was we were looking to see, you know, where we could free up some money. We kind of made the decision that we're going to shop Lorenzo Kane around um, because of the simple fact that we feel like uh, Corey Ray could be an everyday outfielder for us. We could put Corey Ray in left field. Uh, Yelich could transition to center field. Uh, and then that would kind of be what we would do every day uh, with our lineup. Uh, and that would free up Lorenzo Cain's massive, massive uh, contract. I mean, Lorenzo Cain's been good for us. Um, you know, he's hit, uh, you know, 295, 291, 29 home runs, driven in 100 runs. He's got 67 steals in the two seasons. Uh, how's OTB19? My PC broke. Having a Dylan, man, it's been it's it's good. It's it's a it's a really I've been enjoying it, uh, and not just because I get paid to say that. I mean, I I play a lot of OTP on my own time as well, uh, and I do I do really really enjoy it. Um, so let's give Lorenzo Kane the old shop around. I think this might be our best play. Is if we we might be able to get a you know a massive piece in return for um, Lorenzo Cain. Now, again, Lorenzo Cain with a really high salary. So you can see, I mean, not really much getting offered in our way that's not super high pricey. That's a problem. I mean, Eric Thames is the and – that, and that's really not – Scott Penn's fan, how you doing, bud? Um, that's what makes it difficult. So what we need to do is let's go here. Let's go to roster. No. Player list. Yeah, let's see what we can potentially identify as a movable piece. Secure Miyagi. Why is Cody Carroll upset? Why is he very unhappy? Is he pitching bad? He's pitching terrible. Uh, so we get Carol Miyagi, Yelich, Swanson. Trent Grisham is a guy, too. We might have to try to give uh, all players. Let's look at this, all players. And Kyle Crowell is a guy. Kyle Crowell is a guy we're going to hang on to. Eddie Osney Diaz. That's that big Cuban guy that we uh, paid to sign. How did he make out? Hit 335 with a homer, 20 areas, 29 walks, and only 10 strikeouts. Man, if he could develop some power, does he have any hope of having any power? No. Awesome. Herman Marquez. Herman Marquez is a guy we just traded for too, isn't it? 
Uh, let's go here. And then we have Garrett Hansen. Who we have Garrett Hansen's going to be a good, uh, good regular guy too. Uh, so that's good. Let's go back here. Vitor Wantanabe. Another guy that we signed. They're very shrewd. I mean, I'd hate to trade Kyle Crowell. I really don't want to. Uh, let's see what we can do. Because we, we, we might have to try to package... Um, we have to have to try to package a prospect with Locaine. Because I really don't want to take a whole bunch of salary back. Um, but I'd still like to get something half decent. Which I might be easier said than done. To try to find a team that has uh, the room. Mirandi Gonzalez, Jorge Guzman. Uh, let's see. Nothing really special. Domingo Herman. Michael Paez. Tom Eshelman. Luis Torrance. I do like a good catcher prospect. You guys know me and my never-ending search of catcher prospects that I love. But then see, let's go here. If I go here, and they're going to be like, get the heck out of here. Yeah, see, they don't have no money. Nobody has no money. So let's go back. We might just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Um, Uh, okay, let's go here. Should get these offers. Should get the similar offers back. We'll see if we get um, something that we can work with. A little different this time. Eric Thames is still there. Eric Thames, one year at 7.5. Again, that would be a major net gain for us because we're trading Lorenzo Cain and his massive salary for Eric Thames and their, you know, uh, money would improve by 7.5 to 25.5. Theirs would drop. So, I mean, they would, that would, that's pretty much all of the funds um, that they would want to give up. And you know what? Hmm. They can't even afford to retain 5%. Oh, well, we're doing it. Their fans aren't going to like it, but you know what? Listen, they're glad that we got Eric Thames back. That's a big thing. So, I mean, if we go now and we look at our roster, uh, rosters, no. Let's look at it. Let's look at our, uh, our depth charts. And then let's go actions uh, asked. So, I mean, they're going Brett Phillips because they're going Brett Phillips because um, Harper's injured. So Harper would be in right. Corey Ray is going to slot into center. And then, I mean, we have Trent Grisham as well, who is, you know, has performed pretty well for us when we've called him up. Uh, we have Keon Broxton. Keon Broxton had 12 homers in 215 at bats last year. Let's not forget that. Yelich and left. Austin Riley hopefully is going to uh, be able to bounce back a little bit. He did have 18 home runs last year. Um, uh, he did have 18 home runs. And, you know, didn't really, like, batting average was poor. Uh, Swanson, again, 14 homers, 87 RBIs. Uh, but only hit 247. Yeah, I agree, Dylan. It'd be nice if someday we were able to combine, um, you know, all the graphical aspects with the uh, manager aspects. I mean, we made a big leap forward with the 3D this year. Uh, so we got RC at second. 34 home runs for Orlando RC last year. Amazing. Vic Caratini, 286 last year. Uh, catcher, we got to look at what we're going to do behind the plate. Uh, and then, I mean, we got Garrett Hampson, who's going to be our utility guy. I mean, we're looking good. We're looking good here. P 
Pitching wise, let's go. Um, and we'll ask bench coach for bullpen too. So then we're gonna have Carol. I think Akira Miyagi is gonna make a case to be the closer. Uh, you know, and then look at all these stars. We got Marquez, Perdomo, Davies, Corbin, Teheran, Fulmer, Ortiz. So if we are able to get Chris Sale, um, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be quite the coup. Uh, because. And we're gonna have some some depth to get rid of. So let's go. I like to get Tokiyo Miriyami, uh, Tokido Murakami, big Japanese uh, import this year. Six four two twenty. Look at that. Look at those hitting stats, man. He's gonna make some team very happy. So we're gonna go after Chris Sale. Action. Let's offer Chris Sale a contract. He's looking for six years. Uh, with an annual salary of 26 million. So right off the bat, we're going to drop that down to 25. And we're taking away this option. We'll make it a vesting option. Um, if he throws 180 innings in his next to last season, uh, player opt up to year three, not included. No, I mean, he's going to be our ace. Uh, I'll give him a 1.5. I'll give him a $1.5 million bonus if he wins MVP. Ask for a response. Not really the salary. It could be starting point over here's a looking for it's 26, 20. Ooh. But that's better though, because he went down to four years, uh, which is much better for us. All right. Do not have enough money available. Oh, no. Exceeds your budget. Ah, no. Okay. We need some work. We have some work to be done. Man, I wish I could make $25 million a year. <laughs> Yeah, you and me both. You and me both. Uh, let's see. We can try to get rid of it. We can try to dump. I cannot imagine... Oh, can I not shut? Let's play one day then. Brace Harper needs to be activated. No problem. Um, I can't. I got to finish this one day. As long as Chris Sale doesn't sign with anybody on the first day of the offseason, that would be great. Where's Taheran? There he is. See if we can find anybody that's willing to take the Heron salary. I, I can't imagine. Nobody's willing to take... Oh, my word. Oh, wow. That's insane. That's insane. Trying to dump them. I'm not trying to take back double the price. We got to do something about Jonathan VR too. Like we have these dead contracts, and unfortunately, we're not really doing. I mean, VR I kind of like though. Like he plays every position on the field, and he's been pretty good. VR is almost kind of worth it. James Marquez, Corbett. We got to find a way to get rid of Darren. I mean, what happens if we just release him? It's going to cost us $12 million to get rid of them. Uh, let's go. Let's see. How can we see reports? Um, is there a way we can see this, I wonder? Can we see how much teams have available? Why do I not see us on here? Oh, we're up there. Hey, so far we've done a good job. What have we added that has put us up so far? Oh, Eric Thames. We lost Kane. So we've added some pieces. Okay. Got some got some good pieces from Colorado. 
Uh, and what's our draft order looking like? We're going to hit 25th. Player trade, waiver wire. I mean, we could try putting... Um, Taheran on waivers. And see what that does for us. Uh, let's go back here on Season Center. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if we can get a little more creative. So let's go down, right? But then let's go and then bump that one up. And then let's 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 backload this sucker a little bit and see if that helps. Okay. This one we can make work. Whew. All right. So we've offered Chris Sale a four-year, $107 million deal. We are really, really dancing with the devil here. We're... Yeah. Yeah. We're 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 playing with fire. We really are playing with fire. Like we're absolutely this could be absolutely horrendous for us because we have so many young players. We have so much money tied up in Harper uh and Yelich. Uh, but we do have some money coming off the books. You know, Taryn's money's coming off the books. Um, so, I mean, we'll see what we're able to do. Reds and Angels make a deal. Luis Castillo goes to the Angels in return for Chris Villaman. Okay. Castillo hasn't really been very good. Um, so, I mean, I could live with that. I can't see a scenario where someone's going to pick up Julio Taheran on waivers. Maybe. Maybe we get lucky. Someone decides they want to take a take a snack with Julio Tejeron off of waivers, but I can't see it. Who else do we have? Um, let's go here real quick in the front office and take a look at the uh, free agency right quick. Or no, salaries. We only one that's making like middle of the road that we could dump. Like that's the thing is we have so like we look at 2021. We 2021 we only have. $40 million on the books. A little over 40 Uh I mean, we have a bunch of Arab guys, though. RC is going to get a huge raise. Uh, and then, I mean, 2022, we only have that. And then 2023, everything's off the books. Uh, so we got to be careful. So when we go here, we get... Oh, that's not really working out. Um, yeah, so if we could get rid of Tahir, it'd be great. We might have to try to get rid of VR. I don't think anybody's going to offer me anything for him. Um, as much, I mean, his super utility role, we could try to mold Garrett Hampson into that kind of role, and no one offers us a trade. Wow. Because, again, people are way too frugal. Not way too frugal, but they're, they're being frugal with their, with their money. And that's understandable. Zach Davies, Perdomo, Carson, Ful poor Carson Fulmer. I almost feel like I wonder, can we get anything for him at this point? Hunter Harvey's name I see in there. We might be able to turn him into something. I'd like to see Carson Fulmer for us. He he hasn't been wow. Yes, Hunter Harvey. Please. I think maybe Carson Fulmer needs a change of scenery. I think Her Her Hunter Harvey could be that change of scenery if they're willing. If Baltimore is willing to listen to that, they again they're trying to get rid of Hunter Harvey, trying to you know give him a change of scenery. He's very unhappy. Um. I think Fulmer's unhappy as well. well he's, he's, he's normal. What would Harvey rather be doing? He would rather be starting? Yeah, okay. Let's do this. That's a no-brainer for us. All right. 
Let's go Blue Jays. I mean, I don't disagree. Let's go Blue Jays indeed. Offer was not bad. Please increase the amount of money or I will not see. This is a... Man. What's going on in the Hall of Fame voting? Anybody good? Bobby Abreu, Josh Beckett. Bonds? Got to get Bonds up in there. Shows Clemens. They're getting close. Julio Franco, no. Halliday, yes. Helton, yes. Jeter... Uh, quickly, Derek Lowe. I'm a Mucina fan. We can throw Mucina in there. Got to get Man Ram in there. Schilling. I gotta, gotta put Larry Walker. Come on. Gotta get Larry Walker in there. Uh, do I go Johan? Canerco, mm. for Cal, Adam Dunn, Chavez, Berkman. I mean, Beckett was so clutch in the playoffs, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Friggin' Sammy had 609 home runs. We're doing it. I'm saving my game because I have had games crash when I submit the Hall of Fame ballot. So, guys, keep in mind it is Monday Night Baseball here at Out of the Park Developments. TJ Lowerman, that sports gamer, will be here at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time with a continuation of his Showtime Angels franchise. Um, so make sure you guys stick around for that. Um, we really can't go any higher on Chris Sale. And that's unfortunate because, oh my word. Well, guys, we're officially out of the Chris Sale sweepstakes. Unless we can make some sort of other move that I don't know about, the Chris Sale sweepstakes are over. So... And the Garrett Cole sweepstakes are too expensive. And I'm not spending the money to sign any of these guys. So let's move on. Instead, Paul Goldschmidt get 43 mil. Make him an offer he can't refuse. Unfortunately, we can't make him an offer he, we can't, he can't refuse. Um, I mean, the only way we could do that is we'd have to go to like... We'd have to go to like 24 or something on the first one. And then go to like 33. And then he gets an opt-out after the first season. I mean, we could try that, but that's like a last ditch. And I don't I don't think he goes for it. And I I really regret offering that him that contract just now. <laughs> like really, like, yeah, I extremely regret doing that. Anyone going? What's what's uh, Murakami gonna get? I mean, like, I wouldn't mind getting him. And we move Vic behind the plate. Matt Weeders signs an eight hundred forty thousand dollar deal with the Brew Crew. First guy off the board this off season. Damn. The first guy you expect to see this Puig. Puig goes to Philadelphia for five years, 109. Whew. Wow. Puig to Philly. Come on, sale. Mark Melanson goes to Atlanta, three years, 30 mil. We're the only team listed as interested in, in Chris Sale, by the way. So not for nothing. 
Not for nothing. Received a trade proposal? Definitely got, I'm not saying I'll sign up. We see a little, okay. Tampa Bay. So they want to send us Albert Almora. Hmm. I like Almora. Uh, let's see what he's got going on. So his contact and gap power is really good. He plays center field. Uh, he's spent most of the season in AAA last year. We had 301. Um, but hit 301 in uh, AAA, 298 in the big leagues, 14 homers total. Uh, the thing is, they want us to give up Broxton, who's not awful, and Kyle Crowell, who I'm really not wanting to give up Crowell just yet. T Paul Goldschmidt going to Tampa. Wow, 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 wow. Paul Goldschmidt going to Tanner's a trade. Anybody good? Robert Stevenson. Paul Goldschmidt gets $22.1 million annually for over four years. So way, way under what he was asking for. I think we're going to get Chris Sale. See the trade proposal from Houston. They want to send us J.D. Davis, but they want Cody Carroll and Kyle Kraut. Like, like, no, I don't want to discuss that. Uh, it's disgusting. That's kind of why I feel like I clicked on it. That's like the most disgusting trade offer I've ever seen. So he won't, he refuses to go to the majors. Well, I'm sorry, Julio. We, we're releasing you. Get out of here. Julio Darren, you are fired. Sorry. Couldn't help myself. Couldn't help myself. All right, nobody's signing. Chris Sale's got to decide what he wants to do. He could be doing us a big favor, too, if he opts out of this deal. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the Brewers win the Chris Sale sweepstakes. All right. So we win the Chris Sale sweepstakes. I uh, regret it. I so much so regret it. Um... I regret it. I already majorly regret it. But we'll see. We shall see. I regret it terribly. Hopefully, is it really still firing if he still gets paid? Yes, because he can't play for us. Everyone gets fired with pay. Good point, though. I was kind of hoping he didn't sign so then we could go out and get Murakami. Um, but anyway. Too bad we couldn't offer Murakami a contract, but we can't. Unless I pay him eight bucks the first year. Um, so now, now our problem becomes, how do we manage this this year? This is what we have. This is, this is we're not getting anywhere else here. Um, he's definitely still fired plus if I didn't fire him I wouldn't have been able to use the Vince McMahon you're fired so uh, I'm literally taking this guy because they offered me him for Evan Gaddis I don't care who he is where he comes from I don't, I don't care it helped me get rid of Evan Gaddis. 
because um, I don't want Evan Gaddis anymore. Um, so, I mean, right now, let's go. Where's my depth chart at? Uh, lineups, rosters, lineups, pitching right here. So, I mean, Austin Allen's going to be our catcher. He's going to have to figure it out. Riley. And then we get VR. We have Jake Gatewood still, too. Jake Gatewood's still around. So, I mean, if Jake Gatewood gets hot, I mean, we could also use, we could use Eric Thames at first base and put Vic behind the plate. Uh, we've got options. We've got options, which is fine. All right, let's go back to uh, the off-season center. All right. I feel good. I mean, that's our big, that's our big guy. That's the only guy we can afford. So that was pretty much that's off season. So we get for trade proposals now. Felix Jorge, 25-year-old reliever, pitched in the majors, 35 innings. Terrible K-to-walk ratio. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're not going to do that trade. We're not going to do that trade. Uh, let's see who's signing. So Murakami goes to the Angels three years. Five years, 105. Juan Nicasio gets three years. Miguel Montero gets a year from the Jays. Deanna Navarro goes there. Three years. I don't know who Sergio Aguilar is, um, but he got three years, 24 million. Uh, Ki Hyuk Kong. Billy Hamilton goes to the Mets for 48 million. Jake Arietta gets 76 million from the Nationals. 140 million for Garrett Cole. Um, for seven years, man, they're going to regret that. Me thinks. Who's this Derwin Barreto guy? What's his deal? I offer him a deal? I mean, yeah. I don't know who this guy is, but uh, he's a 19-year-old Venezuelan kid just floating around in the free agency. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So far, so good. All these relievers again. All these relievers again just hanging out there. As per usual. As always, guys, if you guys are looking to pick up your very own copy of Out of the Park Baseball 19, head over to otpdevelopments.com right now. Pick up the standalone version. You can also pick it up on Steam or on EA's Origin platform. Travis Jankowski for Josh Hader. Josh Hader's been bad, but I'm committed to him. He's cheap. Braves World Series champs. Never forget. No, that's not a trade I'm ever going to make in a million years. Okay, Kyle Crowell set to untouchable. So I will start stop getting trade offers for him. Because there, no one's going to offer me anything good. He's a young, projectable shortstop. Uh, so next week, we're, I think we get the Rule 5 coming up. Oh, my geez. Just making sure we don't have anybody in here. Because there's some good players in here.
Uh, can we do this? No, because they're all different teams. Okay, gotcha. What kind of players does the AI take in the Rule 5? Um, it depends. I expect some of those really high potential guys might go. Uh, but we'll see. So Colorado took, so they did. Let's see, can we do a review of the draft? Or see what everybody took? Um, you can see, like Colorado took Andy Ibanez. I'm not sure why. He's a pretty average player, plays second, third base. No real rhyme or reason to it. They want me to take Jordan Montgomery. As a lefty reliever. Um, thing is, if I take him, I got to keep him. I have not been able to find a Rule 5 draft log. Yeah, there's, I'm surprised there's not one. Is it That last draft log is just the draft, right? League events, uh, Rule 5 draft, but it doesn't really tell me. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I do love that it is too, Eric. I wonder if last, I mean, that's probably just the last draft log, like the main draft. I don't think it would go there. Huh. Uh, I wonder if it goes under transactions. That's too big. Day is it in the game? 24th, right? Oh, I do see it here. I'll bring it over to this screen. So this is the all transactions log. I know it's not great, um, but it is in here in the all transactions log. So it does show which team lost, whoever, and then who they were drafted by. So you can see Baltimore drafted Dom Nunez. That was from Colorado. Eric Haas from Cleveland, Ramon Flores, Christian Santana. So you can see that it does show uh, in the in the uh, the all transactions log on under the complete transaction log here. I don't think it's under this one. At least there's a spot for it in case of accident. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's go back to the draft. So it wants us to take Jordan Montgomery. I don't really know if that's a smart play. What about this 19-year-old Venezuelan kid? Can we draft him and then just have him be our backup? No, I'm kidding. Um... I'm worried he doesn't make our rotate our bullpen. I mean, we already have Brent Sutter. Yeah, you know what? That's going to be a hard pass. Uh, we're going to skip. Lots of picks, though. Nick Castellan, Nick Castellanos, Nick Castellanos got picked. Wow! 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 Oh, who'd we lose? Well, we lost Lucas Ursek. No, Lucas Ursek. No. Who? He's terrible. 
I mean, he, well, you know what? He wasn't terrible, actually. He hit 332 in AAA with 22 homers and 82 RBIs. We missed that one, kids. We missed old Lucas Ursect. I don't think I get to make another pick, right? Because I skipped the first one, or is it just everyone has to skip before me? Uh, I mean, we're not going to. Phil Bickford, Bo Burrows, Thomas Burrows. All just relievers and stuff. Yeah, they must have put him off the 40, man. I seen he was on the trading block. They were trying to trade him. So they must have uh, took him. They must have sent him off the 40, man. For whatever reason. I mean, good for them. All right. Uh, next week. Good for them for... Picking up some veteran major league talent. There you see Bryce Harper, National League OPS leader. Hey, we signed Derwin Barreto. I like that one. That's a good. That's a good trade for us. So where are we? We're into twenty. We're into twenty twenty. The turn of the decade, sort of. As I said, guys, remember, TJ will be here with his Angels franchise. Before you know it, we're going to try to get through the rest of this offseason. And then next week, we'll be playing the 2020 opener. Once we get the roster and everything all squared away. Have our team back to full health. Be ready to make a run in the... Uh, what they get Kimbrel for? 15.8 for one year. We'll be ready to make a run in the NL Central in 2020. Look at the difference in stolen bases. I seen that. Want to trade for Michael Fulmer? Not really. The Jays are going to sign Andrew Miller after signing Craig Kimbrel. That would be insane. That would be ins absolutely insane. Uh, finances. So we've got some money, but I really don't think we have anybody that we can go after. Like we got some huge big name closers. Brad Boxberger, Toronto loading up on the bullpen. Marcelo Zuna, Edwin Encarnacion go to Texas. Adam Jones goes to the Jays. That would never happen. Vieira's making a ton. I know, but we looked at that earlier. But the thing, I had almost as soon keep him because nobody offered us anything for him. He's only 28, and he's been really productive. Again, 26 homers. And 19 homers, 69 RBIs, and 64 RBIs. 14 steals and 21 steals, and he's hit. And he's delivered, you know, 4.6 wire over two years. For that kind of money and for nobody wanting him, if Austin Riley again comes out of the gate struggling at third base, we have a replacement. Like, that's my thing, is we have a replacement for him if we need it. That that's my worry. I worry that we trade. I worry that we trade um, VR and then Riley sucks or gets hurt, and then we wish that we had someone else. The heck! Oh, I clicked on the the country.
That's my only fear. Again, like, we looked at getting rid of him last year, and then we hung on to him, and then he ended the season being our starting third baseman and, like, just playing really, really well. Kind of like this guy. I don't really need much more bullpen depth, but we're gonna we're gonna get it anyway. Or is that gonna open up? Oh, a little disorder here. Yo. Nice. Oh boy. All right. Sorry about that. Just trying to get my uh, trying to get my stuff in order. My affairs. Trying to get my affairs in order. And that's the thing. I mean, we're a ten game over five hundred team, so. You know, the tweaks we need were minimal, but we really, again, while while I'm worried that that Chris Sale thing, I mean, it's only four years. That's kind of the good part about it. It's if he doesn't opt out after the first year and go in search of a, you know, nine or ten year deal, um, which would be great. Uh, Acevedo. Okay, well, that's fine. We're just trying to, trying to lowball you, buddy. We'll see the Hall of Fame results here, see if anyone gets elected. Reese Hoskins leading the NL in home runs and RBIs. Crazy. Joey Gallo hit 60 bombs. Jeter and Clemens get inducted. Bonds and Helton just missed. Larry Walker dropped. Franco, Oswald, Lowe, Fracal, Beckett, Chavez, Roberts dropped. So it looks like Bonds will probably get in next year. He's got two years left. Helton's right there, too. Schilling might make it. Halliday looking good. You seen him? I don't know. He's got a ways to go in the last three ballots. So we signed Acevedo. So that's good. See the personal message. Financial update. Uh. All right. So we have 150 million right up there. 19th ranked budget in baseball. Uh, we have 108 committed to player payroll. We have a little bit of money for free agents. Things are going up though. Our season tickets are up 40%. So that's good. Hopefully that turns into a nice bump for, for us. Um, again, we had a really good season last year. You see our budget history is going up. We went up, we went from 140 to 142 to 150. Um, our player expenses took a huge jump though. We went from 79 million, just under 80 million to over a hundred million. Now we're going to be pushing up 110 by the time the regular season starts. So we really got to watch that. Um, but Atanasio, he's uh, he's pretty happy. He's pretty happy at the moment. Uh, we have to improve our starters ERA. Um, so we're working on that. Again, Chris Sale probably going to help that. Our attendance was way up last year. We, our attendance went up like 650,000 fans. So that's good. And then we're looking at projected. Hopefully we keep going up. That would be nice. Because uh, we have a lot of these salaries. Again, look at next year. If Assuming, even if Chris Sale does re-sign, I mean, you know, we're going to have $70 million on, Well, we have $70 million dedicated to three players. Okay, maybe that's not great. Um, so upcoming free agents we have. Scouting department. We're doing pretty good. We're giving... We're giving um, 
we're giving Ted a good amount of money. Uh, we can we can fix that. Or Todd, sorry, not Ted. Todd. We got our development going. We're spending a lot of money on development. Lots of good players. We we could use an improvement in the. See, we have our new guys. We signed Steve Lyons and Chili Davis. Mitch Williams still hanging out down on the uh, Arizona League uh, staff. So that's good. We're glad. We're glad to have Mitch Williams, the wild thing, down there teaching our young kids how to pitch. We're on some. We're on something. So we'll invite Acevedo to spring training. Who is not on the roster? There's Feliciano. Cool. Oh, there is his team now. That's good. Um, what can I do? What can I do here? There we go. We'll get them to set up the miners. Move some guys around. Kyle Crowell's going to start in double A. I like that. That's aggressive. Uh, that's pretty aggressive. I'm a big fan. All right. Blue Jays up 3 nothing on the Twins in real life. Loving it. Hope you guys are loving the Brewers franchise. I'm really enjoying it. I, I, I'm really hoping we can get over this hump. Two seasons in. We missed the playoffs twice. Once badly. Uh, and then once, you know, not so terribly. Uh, why isn't... What? I like, I, I like where we're at here. Things are looking good. Sale, Marquez, Davies, Perdomo, and Corbin... Not a horrible rotation. Not a horrible rotation. I think we're just again, we're just gonna go. Um, we're just letting our computer do things for spring training. This is the year. I don't like the fact that they have Dan's Manius in the leadoff spot. That's gonna be a problem for me. That's a major problem. Not batter ratings. Uh, contact. Where's the void case? RC have, we have Vic. We had Vic in the leadoff spot. Nah, Vic's got no speed. Corey Ray. Could Corey Ray be a leadoff hitter? Nah, he's got more gap power. Gap power, power, I, 60. Man, Corey Ray could be a leadoff hitter. Hmm. I wonder. Let's, let's indulge me. Let's try Corey Ray in the leadoff spot against Radies. We got Thames, we got Phillips. We got we got lots, guys. I mean, again, it's spring training. It's spring training. We're not gonna we're not gonna get too we're not gonna get too crazy with it being spring training. We're talking about practice. It's it's practice. Practice? It is it's practice. It's practice. It's exactly what it is. It's practice. Let's get moving a little bit here. Try to get up towards opening day before um, Miyagi files for bankruptcy. What? Am I not the only one who saw that? There you see our history. Not good. Where did I see that? Yeah, there it is up here. Akiro Miyagi filed for bankruptcy. His rest mystery. <laughs> it calls him 
Mr. Miyagi in the article. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, we. I, I absolutely... I I have I have to I have to snip that. Got I got I got I got I got to snip that. Just cuz it calls him Mr. Miyagi's. His restaurant change lot man. He's going to be looking for a raise. Hopefully that doesn't affect him. I'm telling him right now, we're not giving him a raise. It's gonna keep him from being closer. I can't have I can't have a closer whose mind is elsewhere. You know? He's flexing. Flexing all that dough that he's have four million that he's making. Wanna trade for Aaron Nolan? No. Todd Johnson has returned from Japan. Akinori Fujinaka, 16-year-old center fielder. He also brought back Sergio Salazar, who's a nutting catcher from Mexico. But that's okay. Whoa, well, that's a big trade. Jeff Samarja for Jackie Bradley and a prospect? Damn. Damn. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal. All right, let's delete all these messages for now. I like where the team is at. I'm I'm a big fan of where we're at right now. I, I really am. I think we've, we, we have a good combination of three or four, well, yeah, three or four superstar players Sale, Yelich, uh, we have Sale, Yelich, Harper, um, you know, so we've got, you know, those guys that will hopefully carry the load of, you know, being those top flight players. We've got some good, you know, veteran presence and depth in the middle. You know what? Oh, they want Keon Broxton too. Man. I don't hate the idea of well, how old is he though? This catcher guy. He's 26. Okay, no, that makes it that makes it no deal. I think Miyagi and Jung Ho Kong were partying together too much, probably. They probably were. They were probably down partying, you know, in the back rooms of Miyagi's restaurants, which I can only assume were called wax on, wax off, uh, fine dining. That sounds about right. Darvish out for the season. Colby Allard season over too. Okay, yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna put not interested. That this is the most ridiculous trade I've ever seen. Get out of here. John Carmona turning into a Hall of Famer. My Brewers save nice. We've been hanging on to him and hanging on to him and hanging on to him. He's got some guys ahead of him on the depth chart. Obviously, we have Dansby right now at the big league level. And we have Kyle Crowell down in double A. Uh, but Carmona's a guy we're watching. I mean, he hit 349 uh, in the DSL last year, which is not nothing. Um, anyone but you. Oh, man, he's down. I mean, we're keeping Carmona. Again, he's behind a couple of guys right now. Obviously, again, with Dansby. Dansby's the guy. He Dansby's going to be the guy for some time. Um, but again, we do have you know Kyle Crowell who is hoping hopefully he's going to work out for us. Um, but we'll we're going to hang on to Carmona. I think he's 
I think this could be a big year in terms of Carmona's development. I really do. I have high hopes. I mean, he's listed at the top of our prospects for a reason. Um, because he deserves to be there. Guys, can I just say, listen, look at this. Let's how, how, let's finish this one week. I don't know if you, can you trust spring results? Ah, Eric Thames, you bum. Of course, of course, Eric Thames had to get hurt. Just as I was about to say, do spring results mean anything? Eric Thames goes out and gets hurt for five weeks. <laughs> Hot 14 and 2. And we've lost, oh, there, we finally won a game. I was going to say, we lost every game since. No, Dansby. Uh, it's not good. Well, that's gonna have to do it, though. That's gonna be that's gonna be the end right there, guys. So a rough spring that ends off with some in, with some injuries, guys. Thank you for coming out for the Brewers franchise. Make sure you guys stick around. That sports gamer is gonna be up in just a few minutes with his Angels franchise. As always, guys. Make sure you follow us all over the interwebs. Go to youtube.com slash out of the park, youtube.com slash OTP developments. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post all of our archives on there and a bunch of other cool stuff, trailers, all kinds of cool stuff. You can catch some franchise hockey manager vids over there as well. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash OTP baseball, facebook.com slash OTP baseball. And of course, if you want to pick up your very own copy of out of the park baseball 19, head over to OTP developments.com right now, pick up the standalone version, or you can check it out on steam. Or on Origin. Until next time, I've been Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snangle J, Associate Community Manager for Out of the Park Baseball. And until next time, keep swinging for the fences.